are playing a humongous game of hide and seek. I think there's like 45 people hiding. We were up with so many fun YouTubers and we are filming videos today. It's so cold and it's snowing so much. She got there and they were both barking to their highest pitch. Our dogs. Kenny woke up last night very upset because I didn't come and tell him goodnight. He was very sad. <laughs> Dressed. Let's get in the car. You want to go or you want to stay home? No, go. Okay, let's go. Boys, you want to go? Okay, we gotta be in the car in 10 minutes. Let's be quick. Just putting my bag. It's like really hurting my shoulders. It's so heavy. But I'm just putting my bag in my seat with me. Oh, right there. And so my seat's right there, and I can scoot it over if I need to. I really only am bringing one bag. I said literally a lot. But I'm only bringing one bag. I'm bringing a bag that has all my clothes, all my bathroom stuff, all of my chargers, all of my everything in it. Because I usually bring like a backpack full of clothes, and then like one of my small backpacks for like chargers and gum and road trip stuff and things like that. And then, but this time I'm just bringing my bag that has all of that stuff in one bag and I can fit my blanket in there because I didn't have any backpack so instead I'm just using one of those like what are they even called cargo bags I want to say no not cargo bags but that's what I'm using is one of those bags that are open so the weather is very snowy and kind of crazy and this might be a good idea to be going and this might be a bad idea to be going so we'll see what comes of it Put it inside the bag and then you just eat it like this. Okay. So guys, this is how you eat it. It's like this. Over the bag, okay? Over the bag. I forgot to bring napkins and there are no napkins in this car. I don't know why, because usually we have tons, but no napkins. So luckily Lizzie brought lots of puke bags to prepare this time. And so Savannah's putting all the donuts inside of the, their Ziploc bags right now. They're not puke bags right now. <laughs> Ziploc bag so that the kids can eat over their bag and get their crumbs in there. Dad wants chocolate chocolate and I want chocolate chocolate. Thank you. We are up at the <clears throat> mansion. The We were up with Kids Fun TV. Um, Ohana Adventure, The Shumway Show, Ninja Kids, so many fun YouTubers. And we are filming videos today, and right now we're filming a texting mafia video. Oh, not enough Nielsen's. And I was the speaker <laughs> for the texting mafia, and it gave me asthma, and I can't even like, I can't even talk now. <clears throat> so Kyle from The Shumway Show took over my job, and he's doing a great job. I I guess I don't do enough yelling or something. It's so cold and it's snowing so much. I think it's awesome. Whoa. That is really, really good. I love it. Like... Oh, the puppies. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And this is Angel, the pretty mama. Angel, so cute and tiny. Oh, sweet mama. Sweet mama and her puppies. Oh, and sweet mama and her puppies. Look at those cute puppies. Yep. Those are your puppies, huh? Oh, yeah. Are you thinking box fort next video for 10, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's getting crazy down there. Anyway, we're over here at, uh, <laughs> at Fun Kids. Kids at Kids Fun TV. Uh, their place and that's where you saw the snow outside anyway we're filming a fun video where kids are making box forts and it's a competition and it's gotten crazy we just went and filmed well bailey and i talked the whole time <laughs> 
but the kids and Johnny filmed a box sport video with Kids Fun TV, and now we are back here at the film house, and we are gonna see what's happening here. Hey, don't you need a plate? Uh, can't you can't me a plate. So then I go, Ken, you can't have mac and cheese, you don't have lactates. He goes, okay, give me some food. I want chicken and bread and mac and cheese. I was like, dude, I'm not your servant. You don't have any lactates? I couldn't find any. All right, let's see if we are lucky. Uh -huh. Found some. It is hard having children that are lactose intolerant and they never remember. So luckily, Savannah is usually so on the ball. Luckily we have some. Oh, love Savannah! It. Yay, thank you! You're welcome. Now you can eat mac and cheese. Okay, thanks. All right, love you, mate. She got there and they were both barking to their highest pitch. Our poor neighbors. Our dogs should not have dogs. <laughs> I know. Our dogs are, are getting more and more high maintenance all the time. They just have anxiety that we've lost. Charlie gets it. anxiety and Grizz just loves to bark. And then once Grizz barks, Charlie barks and yeah, it's, it's just, just a vicious just, cycle. It is. And it doesn't, they don't stop. They don't just like, hey, I should probably just like not bark nothing. <laughs> but Charlie drug the, the, the food dish out onto the grass and spilled it everywhere. Who knows where? And it's all mush now because it's all wet. So she has to fill the food dish back up. The whole, the whole container. You said it's gone, like it, she had spilled it all over. We actually haven't left Charlie at this house for a long time. No. So. And he does fine during the day. It's just when it's, the sun goes down, he's like, hey, Where I want to go inside with everyone else. Yeah, and all the lights that. are out, no family's home. Where the heck are they? So we have to figure out what that's going to look like. In the other house, they had the dog kennel that they could go inside of, and they felt like they were inside. But ugh. Yeah, we need to make a new dog kennel. Did you see how many people were out there? It is it's crazy, crazy out, out there. there right we ran to my parents' house super quick because the dogs were up barking and they asked Lane to come do it, but they were like, it's gonna take a little bit because he's gotta get everything that he needs to. He's gotta get that done at his own house and we're literally just like right down the road. So we're like, yeah, we'll run over. So we put the dogs in the kennel and they said, we check on Min too and She's been sitting here whining. We haven't gone in yet, but I was like, we might as well just take her home be with Nala, depending on how long my parents are gonna be gone because she sounds so sad. And I called my mom and I said, hey, do you want us to just take Mim? And she said, that would be really good for Mim actually because she's been kind of depressed the past couple days with Draco being gone. So we're gonna grab Mim and take her home to see Nala, which will be good for Nala too, I think. Hi, sweetheart. You wanna come hang out with Nala for a couple days? Good to meet you. Nala. Okay, are you ready? Nala! 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 Look, Nala! It's your mom! Oh, she didn't forget her. She didn't forget about you! We are playing a humongous game of hide and seek. It is three channels. It is Ten Rights Games, Shadow the Acres, and Cage Our Crew. And I think there's like 45 people hiding. There's six seekers and 45 people hiding. And the name of the game is the channel that finds the most people wins. It's crazy. And this is the first time coming to this house. I don't even know what I'm laying on. This is the first time coming to this house and so I don't know where anything is and a lot of people hiding so here we are hiding in the closet is not a very good hiding spot oh. all right this is crazy so many people in the town oh yeah i thought you were going to and then mom found me so they said it was the first person down That was the biggest game of last time we've ever played. Yeah, there's an owl up there on the roof. Yeah, you see it up there? Yeah. How cool is that? That is lit. That is so cool, actually. How cool is that? It's a horned owl. Well, we found the snow. What do you think our house looks like? <laughs> I don't know. What's happening? 
looking at the road for the next No. No, he's... That's what happens is the plowing, sparks in the metal. Because that's a metal scraper. Thank you guys for doing your that work. That's a hard job. Well, 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 we just got back. Got into the house here and it is freezing upstairs, but we designed it that way. We, in the summertime, we stayed here last time, we shut all the vents to the upstairs here. And uh, now that it's cold, we're back here. You feeling better in there now? Mm -hmm. It's getting warmer, right? But we have a problem. See that big vent right there? Can you see how big that is right there? And then over here, this one's really, really big. So what's about it's huge, huh? So why is that a bad thing? Because that's the return air. It doesn't go anywhere. So I just went down to the furnace and I found that the return air from upstairs actually doesn't go anywhere. Anyway, there's a few things that still need to be uh, just you know, adjusted over here. And so while they're adjusting those, we'll get so we're, Oh, it's really warm in here. It's better, it's much better. But there's another, there's another return right there and I'm not sure where that goes. But uh, the kids are just getting ready here. You guys had a long day. We filmed, okay. how many videos did we film today? Three. So we filmed Texting Mafia. Uh -huh. We filmed the biggest, you saw the biggest uh, 45 person. Yeah, it was almost like 50 people. Found. Well, it was 50 people. people total playing. Yeah. And then what was the other one? Oh, uh, the box fort. The box fort. Which I think, was that your it was favorite so one? Fun, no, it was so fun. I don't know, I liked them all. I don't. I can't even pick a favorite. It was all just so fun, but that one was real fun. Kenyon woke up last night very upset because I didn't come and tell him goodnight, which I actually did, but he didn't know because he was asleep. So I'm gonna try this again and hopefully he'll remember this time and not be upset. When I say, when I say upset, he was, he was very sad. Mm. He was, he came to my room and was literally in hysterics crying because he thought that I didn't tell him goodnight. So, mm. poor guy. And then I, I sent him back up to bed after we talked for a minute and then he was up there still crying. So I went back up there and sat with him and ass for about uh, 20 minutes to a half hour. Mm -hmm. And then finally they went to sleep. Good night, dude. Dude, hey buddy. Good night. Good night, Gigo. Good night, Gigo. Thank you guys so much for joining us in this fun party. I know you see somebody you uh, recognize. Go check out their channels. Have some fun with it. We love you guys and... Yeah!